You are listening to a day in the life of Desiree's indie artist spotlight, interviewing Miss G. Tune in. So one of the questions I have for you is who were your greatest musical influences? It could be rap. It could be classical. It could be R&B. Who were some of your greatest influences with, with music? Hmm. It would have to be my one of my biggest ones was Lil Wayne. Okay. And uh, Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane. Okay. Okay. They're my two biggest um, influencers. Okay. All right. And how did you start rapping? How long have you been doing it? And and where did you get your start? Um. Hello. I've been, like, I started, like, my first rap, like, song, I was eight, and that's when I really just started um, rapping, but, like, I started taking it serious when I was about 17, and after, like, after when I was eight, that's when I recorded again, because my first time recording was eight, so I recorded again when I was 17, and then I really started doing that, but I started off writing poems first. And then it kind of just turned into rap, like, because I, I was just always listening to music, you know, so. But your first interest was in poetry, and you were writing poems, and you were interested in that when you were, like, in elementary school? Yes, yes, I was, yeah, yeah. Okay. So did somebody ever, you know, did you ever, you know, do anything as far as, you know, doing a performance with your poetry? And then somebody said, oh, wow, you know, you sound really good. Maybe you should get into rapping or something. How did that even come into your mind? <laughs> I mean, because I think, like, okay, from me writing poems, I think I just started writing raps after, I was just like, I don't, I didn't, I didn't just say I don't want to do poetry, no, but I just, I don't know how, <laughs> I just started writing raps, uh, I think I was like 11 when I write, like, wrote my first uh, rap on paper, and I rapped it to my grandmother, she was, like, because I was raised in church, so she was like the rapping granny at church, like, that was her character. Oh, wow, so, okay. I think she, that kind of, like, influenced me, too, with the um, rapping, too. So okay. it was, like, my between, like, my grandmother, just listening to music, like, Lil Wayne, and, you know, just. Okay, so a combination of things. Yes, it's a combination of things, but I don't know. I just, and then my dad, my dad raps, too, so it was just. <laughs> It's in my family, so. Okay, okay. So I'm wondering then, so a lot of you do rapping. So when you think about it with poetry, you know, poems, they end up, you know, coming out a certain way just like a rap would. And it, it makes a story, basically, right? So I can see right. how, you know, poetry could influence you to do to do rapping. That that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Right, because okay. the rhyming and then, you know. Right. Okay, well, this leads me to another question then. How does your family feel about you being involved in the rap industry? Oh, uh, my mom and my dad, they uh, support me. Like I told you, my, my dad rap, because like I, when I, blah, 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 like I told you when I was 17, when I did that for, uh, first record, uh, recording, he was there. And he was actually doing a song, and I wanted to get on his song. I said, can I get on your song? And um, that's how that happened. And then he was, they was like, wow, like, you know, you can you can really rap. And so he really supports me. My mom supports me. She always encouraging me. Um, but, yeah, my family, they feel, they feel like I'm, I'm good. So I got their support, most of them. Okay, good. Do they ever come to any of your performances? My mom does it because she she's not like she's a Christian, so she's not into you know the clubs and all that. So um, then my like my I have like brothers, you know sisters. Sometimes like my cousins they'll come. Uh, my dad is in another state, so but he I performed with him before, like some years ago. We we performed before the club, but okay. a few of my family members do come sometimes. That's, Not all the time, but. that's really good to hear. Good. Okay. All right. So you had mentioned Little Wayne earlier and how how he influences you and 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 things like that. So what I want to know from you now is who do you think right now? It's 2018. Who the hottest male and female rap artists are like right now? Tell me why you think that. 
right now, I think, ooh, I, it has to be maybe two. Okay. And I know for a fact, as of right, right now, six nine is the hottest. Okay. And Drake. But see, Drake be, he kind of, he be in and out, but he still, he, it's, it's weird because he's still hot. He's still relevant. So mm-hmm. I would say, yeah, I would say Drake is 6'9". Okay, okay. Um, and, and for female, females, Cardi B. Cardi B, okay. I just saw something with Cardi B talking about her taxes, which was really interesting. <laughs> and how they were taxing her up to 40%. But, yeah, she's definitely um, a hot one and one that really has a really good story about how she came into um, industry as well. So so you would say Cardi B and, and 6 9 and Drake? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you slide on that one. Okay. So this is my next question. This leads me to this. So let's say a big music publisher or a big label like, Dre's Interscope or Aftermath or um, mm-hmm. Maybach Music with Rick Ross or Loud Records <laughs> or, or T.I.'s Grand Hustle, I mean, or Free Bands, Taylor Gang. When one of those big labels came to you, um, what are you prepared to um, offer them as far as, you know, what is Miss G about? Why would they want to work with you? What's one of the main reasons why they would love to work with you? Well, because um, I am very consistent. Okay. Um, like, I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to always be, if I'm not recording, I'm going to be shooting a video or something okay so i'm one consistent um creative from be creative with my music um and i feel like you know i don't sound like anybody i don't rap like nobody else so that's 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 one thing okay Okay. Which leads me to my other question. You kind of touched that on that on that already. So, what would you describe your style to be? What kind of style do you have? You mentioned Cardi B being one of the hottest ones out there for females. So, if you think about your style and how unique you are, what makes you stand out from other rappers? Hmm. My style is. Like, okay, a lot of people tell me I, I, I'm i like a gangster rapper, but I mean, sometimes I don't see myself as that, but I guess that's how other people perceive me. So, I mean, I guess <laughs> that, but sometimes I say I make like trap music, not as far as selling drugs, but just the style, Okay. you know, okay. the trap style, you know, um, and... I don't sound like I. Well, sometimes you can hear, like since I'm so influenced by like Gucci Mane and Lil Wayne, like as far as punchlines, like that's what that's how I started with the punchlines and metaphors and similes and all that was just because of Lil Wayne or whatever. Okay, and then okay. just the 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 way I rap, like the flow sometimes will be like a Gucci type of. But mixed in with my own, you know, so Shit, it's like I need all the cream. My yeah. my yeah. style yeah. mixed in with their is different. Catch me on stage being seen with my team, and I'm so damn hot. That's why I'm seen on the stage. Worst name, murder, I'm right. seen. Right. 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 So and so, or so and so, you sound like Miss G, but you have a mixture of elements that you bring into your own style. Yes, yes, okay. right. So, okay. like, I was I was speaking with a rapper today. He said I make uh, slap bitch music. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, so. What do you think then? What's the difference between, you know, old school rap, hip hop artists and the new school um, rap artists such as yourself? Do you, do you follow anybody who's from the old school? Do I follow? Um... Follow as far as, you know, knowing about them or um, 
their style, you know, think of people from from old school. I mean, you're you're 25, so gosh, I might say somebody's name and you might not even know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but let's say I'm, I'm, everybody's heard of Run DMC, so let me just use them, uh-huh. okay? So think about their style, okay, for hip hop and rap, and let's think about somebody like Drake now or Lil Wayne now. How how are things? How how have things changed? Like a lot of stuff has changed. Just like. I could say one of the main things is the beats. Mm-hmm. Okay. The beats has like um gotten I would say gotten better. Just even with all the new technology and everything. Okay. Then I play the part into like just because you know with the beats that brings out a, a different style too. So the I say that's one of the main things the beats and then just like back then they wasn't rapping. They had kind of like one type type of way mm-hmm. okay. to rap, or a, a, a couple of different ways to rap. But now it's like you know, the new people they rap in a thousand different ways, you know. So yeah, they are. And I think the other unique thing about that is, I mean, even uh, some of the old school rap artists, they're getting uh, their music is being sampled a lot by yeah. you know new school people is being sampled, and then people sometimes end up thinking, oh, wow, you know, so-and-so came up with that, but really, it was somebody, like, from 50 years ago. Yeah, and I don't even know. I, I, <laughs> I recently was noticing how uh, Chris Brown and Drake sample a whole bunch of, like, old people, like how Drake always sampled Aaliyah or how Chris Brown always sampled Michael Jackson. So, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that, that helps because... People heard that it sounds similar, and if the song's good, they'll they'll catch on to it, you know. So yeah, I feel like it's a really big compliment to them to get sampled anyway. Right, right. Okay, so what do you think, or what do you want listeners who hear your music to to get from you? What do you want them to to feel when they hear your music? Is there a, a message you want to send, or how how do you want them to to I guess, um, take in your sound. I want them to, like, because when I, when I do my music, I do it, I'm being myself. So the listeners, like, the message is be yourself. Because when I'm rapping, I'm not trying to do what somebody told me. Like, I, I do all my own, you know, stuff. You know, I mean, of course, I take advice, but overall, you know, I'm doing what I like or, you know, what I think the people would like. So most of the time, if I like my music, I know that somebody else will or that the fans will. Okay. Um, But sometimes when I, when I don't like it, they like it. So it's just, um, I want them to feel good when they listen to my music. I want them to, um, like, because I got some songs you can, like, dance, you can chill, so... I just want I just want whoever listening to be having having a good time or be being themselves. That's that's okay. Me. Being themselves. Okay. Good. Okay. So this brings me to this question. So you're 25. Are you single? Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, so this is my question then to you. What kind of man are you attracted to? And what kind of what kind of men are attracted to you? What is it what does it take to keep Miss G's attention? Right, cuz it's not easy to keep my attention. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was in a relationship for like 4 years, so Okay. Um, what kind of man? I like a man that is not controlling mm-hmm. and is well, like, because I like to dress nice. You have to dress nice. You have to look good. Okay. Smell good. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? You have to be, like, yeah, I ain't going to say you have to be funny, but, like, because I'm, a lot of people say I'm funny, so I don't want a boring dude who's just, like, always serious all the time. You want them to have a um, sense of humor. Sense of humor, yes. Yeah, okay. Sense of humor. Um, and you can't, you have to be doing something with your life, you know. You can't be sitting home every day or whatever, playing the game, or have whatever, because um, that's not going to get you nowhere. So I just don't like, I don't want nobody just going to waste my time, point blank, period. That's, that's the main thing. You have to 
Man, I'm just an after the grain. 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 Man, I'm just an after